All right, listen, doing a film, I'm asking people, what do you think happens to you when you die? I personally, like, I believe in, like, the, the afterlife, you know, heaven and hell, all that stuff. Okay. Yeah, I, I personally believe you, you go to heaven after you die, yeah. Okay, so everyone goes to heaven? Everyone goes to heaven or hell, depending. Okay, so where bad people go? Hell. hell. Okay, so would you consider yourself to be good people? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Okay, so let's do a quick little test. All right. All right, easy test. Have you ever told a lie before? Yes. What do you call someone who tells lies? Liar. Liar, Liar. that's right. So you're yeah. both liars. Yes. Okay. Uh, I guess, yeah. Uh, have you ever stolen anything before? Yeah, I guess. The yeah. amount doesn't matter and downloading music counts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well then, yeah, yeah. I guess, then definitely. The Supreme Court said it did. Oh, <laughs> so then, I, then I, yes. What do you call someone who steals? A robber. Yeah, thief. Well, thief. Thief, yeah. thief, robber, Ro robber. Yeah. Robber actually is a strong arm where you actually have to take it oh, off really? a person. Really? Yeah, that's oh. actually different. Robbery is a felony versus just usually theft is usually misdemeanor. Okay. So I guess thief then, yeah. Yes, okay. So, how about this? Adultery. You ever done that? Like cheating? Well, the Bible says if you even look with lust, you've committed yeah. adultery in your heart. And, you, and you're a red-blooded male, right? Yeah. Yes. So you've done that? Yeah. You might have even done it today already while being here? Yeah. Probably. Okay. All right. And one more blasphemy. Taking the Lord's name in vain. You ever done that? Yeah. That's a very serious, yeah, that's a very serious crime. So check it out. I just took you through four of the Ten Commandments. Yeah. Just at four, all right? Uh, yeah. You stand before God on Judgment Day. The mm -hmm. Almighty Judge of the Universe. What should He do with you, heaven or hell? I mean, I think if, like, you, you have that, like, that conviction and you want the whole, like, asking God for forgiveness, you know, He forgives. Okay, so what you're telling me is, I can rape and murder ten women, but as long as I lived a good life and I washed the judge's car before I came in, he can have mercy on me, right? Well, I mean, it, it's not—it's not that simple. It's I, not. Yeah. It's not just like. You definitely yeah, you take punishment for your what you've done. Right. But like. So. Forgiveness is. Let me put it to you this way: If I lie to my kid, what happens to me? You've sinned. You've yeah, but what happens to me? Uh, it, like in reality. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Uh -huh. I lie to my wife. What happens to me? It depends on if your wife finds out. Yeah, I'll wife. probably be in the doghouse, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I lie to my work. What happens to me? You might get fired. I might get fired. Last one, I lie to the government. What's going to happen to me? You might get arrested. You might get arrested, yeah. yeah. That's right. What's the difference? Same crime, what's the difference? To uh, the authority. To different, different that's being. right. Yeah. The one whom you have offended. Yeah. See, we look at our lying and the stealing and all those little crimes. We don't think it was that big deal, but instead... When I hurt you, what was your name again? Anthony. Anthony, when I hurt you, the reason why murder is wrong is because you're made in God's image. Yeah. I'm not just offending your friend and your parents. I'm actually offending God because yeah. I killed one of God's creations. Right. All right? So it's the one whom you offended. When I lie to you, I'm offending God. Yeah. It's the one whom I offended. Now, again, I'm going to ask you a question again. You stand before the almighty, perfect judge of the universe. Mm -hmm. You've broken all Ten Commandments. I only showed you four. I could take you through the rest. Where should he send you? Not where do you want to go, where should he send you? I, I, th I think if you... I think, faith, I, then, think, I think if you were watching a criminal standing on trial on TV, you'd be like, I want that guy to go to jail, right? Yeah. That's but, right, because uh, you want justice. We love uh, justice. We watch TV shows about justice, right? But you don't want like to... You, you don't want to see yourself served, right? Yeah. Where should God send you? I personally... I, I still... I think I'm aiming with that heaven because it's, it's the grace of God, you know, it's it's not... Well, well I haven't got to grace yet. I'm telling you, yeah. where should he send you? We haven't he talked about grace. To hell. Yeah, exactly. That's, I mean, that, like that's right. right. He should send everyone to hell, right? If you're yeah, looking at just the, like the law aspect, if you're breaking That's the law. right, and that's what I'm getting at. Okay, now, there was a payment made 2,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. Who's Jesus? The guy that's Son of God. The cross for all. Son of God. Okay, this is what's known as penal substitutionary atonement. There has to be a payment. Check this out. In the Old Testament, there was a Passover. There's a Passover lamb. Mm -hmm. All right. Imagine, Anthony, you're standing in court and you have a hefty fine to pay. And the judge is about to slam down gavel. Says, Anthony, you paid this $2 million now or you're going away forever. And he's just as about to slam down the gavel. A complete stranger walks in and says, Your Honor, I have the payment paid in full. How thankful for would you be of that man? Intensely. Right. Could you pay him back? No. No. That's right. You see, the Bible says all our works are like filthy rags. Yeah. When we try to work our way to heaven, say, look at what I did, God. 
God looks at our works as filthy rags because Jesus paid it all on the cross. He was the ultimate sacrifice, the perfect Lamb of God. See, he had to be born of a virgin so he could keep all the Ten Commandments. He never sinned. Yeah. We do because we're in the flesh. Yeah. And I'm older than you, so I guarantee you have committed way more sins than you, okay? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I don't boast about that, but yes, I, I've lived more life, yeah. okay? So, but there's something we have to do, not a work, but something we have to do to get to heaven. Do you know what that is? Uh, Word starts with an R. Repentance? Repent. That's right. You've heard this before. Yeah. yeah. Repent and trust in the Savior. Yeah. Here's what repentance is. If I cheat on my spouse and I walk by and say, ah, honey, it'll never happen again. Is that repentance? No. But if I'm on my knees begging and groveling and swearing it'll never happen again, is that repentance? Yeah. Truly sorry? Yes. That's how sorry you have to be to God. Yeah, you have because to. you broke his laws. You transgressed his laws. Yeah. And Jesus says, if you transgressed even one of the laws, you've transgressed them all. Yeah. Okay? So we've all broken God's law. We all deserve hell. Yeah. So we have to repent of our sins. Mm -hmm. Not to me, not to man, but to God. Yeah. And then we have to trust in Jesus. Not just accept him. See, he's got to accept us. But he can't accept us until we are repentant. Right. He won't. He, does, he hates the proud. He hates pride. You... Go to the Bible Gateway and type in the word pride and see how it's used, how many times, and it's never used in a positive way. Yeah. We are very proudful human beings. I'm the first one to admit that's one of my sins, pride. All right? That's one thing that I have to work on, that God's been working on me. But that's a huge sin for me, pride. God hates that. So we have to repent and we have to trust in Jesus. We trust in, in Him the way we trust in a parachute. What was your name again? Geo. Geo. Let me ask you a question, Geo. You ever been on an airplane? Yeah, no, I have. Yeah. Okay. Imagine if you get on the airplane and the stewardess hands you your back, uh, hands you a parachute and says, Geo, put this on. It's going to prove your flight. And you're like, okay, she's stewardess. She knows what she's talking about. Uh -huh. You put on this parachute and it's bulky, it's uncomfortable, and the seats are small, and you have a strap between your legs and it's crushing everything, and you're, people are pointing at you, laughing at you, and you're sweating. Before long, you're going to say, this doesn't improve my flight at all. And you'll take it off, right? Yeah. But if that stewardess says, Geo, put this parachute on, because when we hit 10,000 feet, the engine's going to fail, you're going to have to jump out. You'll keep that parachute on no matter what, right? 100%, yeah. Right. That's what Jesus is. I'm not telling you, take Jesus, he'll make your life better. In fact, when you repent and put your trust in Jesus, you find yourself a good Bible believing church, you read your Bible, you're going to lose friends. But you know what? I have a loving wife. Who loves the Lord. I have a loving family. He gave me everything. Okay? I don't hang out with the old crowd. I have a new crowd I hang out with. I have a wonderful church. I know where I'm going when I die. That's the most important thing. So I want to leave you guys with one thing here. Do you know where you're going to go when you die? Yes. All right, have you, you, the Bible said you must be born again. Have you been born again? Have you yes, repent, repented, put your trust in Jesus? Yes, sir. Have you, are you part of a good Bible-believing church? Yes, sir. Okay, I want you to make sure you're there reading your Bible. Try to read your Bible every day. Use on your phone. Read every day. All right? One of our biggest struggles right now is pornography as young men. Okay? Slay that dragon. Because I'm going to tell you something right now. You think the Lord's going to bless you with a wonderful woman if all you're doing is looking at smut all day long? No. Do you think your wife would like that? No. No. So I want you guys to think about what I've said here today, okay? All right. Thank you very much for your time.